Wait, what was your G at the end? What? A G? I don't remember the last time I felt this good. It just, it makes me want to dance. Have you ever seen a racetrack at sea? Well today we're on the Norwegian Viva, a brand new ship. And we're gonna experience it in two different ways. And I brought my new buddy with me, Matt. What's up everybody? One person is gonna do exclusive. They're gonna pay for everything. They're gonna have this luxury, incredible experience. And one of us is gonna be inclusive. On a budget, you only get to do the things that the ship gives you for free. The challenge is go-karting. Whoever wins this race on this ship is gonna do the big fancy dancy experience. You up for it? Pretty sure I just saw your face on the leaderboard as we walked in here, but I'm up for it, let's see. You're gonna need this, mate. All right. You ready to go? Let's go. Let's do it. The Norwegian Viva is the latest addition in Norwegian Cruise Line's Prima class fleet, boasting a capacity of 3,099 passengers. We stepped aboard for a three-day repositioning voyage from Miami to the vibrant shores of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Here, the Viva will home port in winter 2024 and 2025, offering an array of seven-day Caribbean expeditions. I took advantage of the free at sea promotion, which gave me access to an array of complimentary perks like drink packages, speciality dining, and Wi-Fi. Now I've pretty much spent my whole adult life on cruise ships, spending 15 years as a carnival cruise director, so I think it's pretty safe to say I know a thing or two about cruising. Now I've heard great things about NCL's Haven experience, and I'm really excited to check it out for myself. And I'm not gonna lie you guys, my expectations are pretty high. And we're on board. An immediate impressions. I feel like I've been to some kind of swanky hotel or mall. This is not really what you expect or what was in my mind as a cruise ship. This is gorgeous. So just walked on board and wow, this ship is stunning. And it's Christmas time. There's Christmas trees all over it, which makes it so festive. Now to get to the Haven area, there is a private access. We get our own elevator up to there. And look at this. Look at this beautiful golden elevator bank. So let's go check it out. All right, let's go check out the room. This is the part I've been so excited to do. Let's have a look. All right, this is my room. All right, let's check this out. Now this is the incredible Premier Haven Owner Suite. Now this suite feels more like an apartment than a cruise ship cabin, and never have I ever seen a cabin that has its own separate living space. We got three bedrooms and three bathrooms. I am gonna be sport for choice. Now the two smaller rooms feel comfortable and spacious, but check out the master bedroom. This place just screams pure luxury. And I even have my own dining room area in my bedroom. Norwegian are known for some of the comfiest beds in the cruise industry, and I definitely could settle right here. All right, I want to show you one of my favorite parts. First of all, a walk-in wardrobe. A walk-in wardrobe on a cruise ship. Let's, like, do you see the space? Do you see the space that I have right now? Look at this shower. Two rain, what are these called? Rain, rain, two faucets, two, a double rain shower. Double rain shower. Look at the size of this. Dude, I'm getting so dizzy. Look at this. There is a hot tub on your balcony. Guys, you can shower and look at the view. Best cabin ever. There's a bathtub. There's a bathtub on the ship. Ah, this is the life. 
So let's talk about the living room. First of all, I've been on so many cruise ships. This is the first time I've ever walked into a suite and there is a separate living room and the decor in here is absolutely stunning from the chandelier to this beautiful bookshelf. There's a dining room table in the middle which is such a great space to sit down and dine with your family because you've got your own butler. Let me rip, you have your own butler which means they will bring the food to you which is incredible. You can see there's also an espresso machine. There's no way like starting your day with a nice fresh brewed coffee. And of course, look at the size of this TV. Maybe one of the nights you want to stay in and have a movie night, this TV is perfect for kicking back and relaxing on this super comfy couch. And it's all topped off with this ocean view. I'm literally never leaving. You're never getting me out of here. The most beautiful thing about being on a ship is just this. The, the view, not me. It's, I'm talking about the view. And may I add, my favorite feature of this entire cabin is this. A hot tub on the balcony. Well now it's time to check out my cabin, which is an inside cabin on deck nine, cabin 9767, and here it is. Let's have a look. Well, welcome to my lovely little inside stateroom. And while it might be small, it is super new, fresh, modern. There's lovely artwork on the wall and nice finishes and touches that make this feel luxury. There's a unit in front of the bed for storage and a nice big television, a vanity table over there with a bench, hairdryer. There's a wardrobe with three different sections, plenty of hangers and plenty of stuff to store your clothes. If there was two people in here, you're gonna need all the space you can get because there isn't a lot of floor space in this room. The bathroom here is clean and modern. Everything is brand new here, so it feels brand new. Even though this is one of the lower grade rooms, the finishes in here are top notch and the bathroom backsplash is really cool and there's still artwork in the bathroom. One thing I do notice is the generic toiletries. So there's no super luxe toiletries here, no little mini special bottles for you. One little pet peeve, I do like a separate conditioner, but here you'll find a mixed shampoo conditioner. But again, something we can survive. Also, we're modern people, technology is important. You'll find plug sockets all around the room, very handy. One thing that's a winner here is this big comfy bed. I really like this, a plush little throw over the top, really soft sheets and ah, oh, cushions that you can happily have a great night's sleep on and I intend to do just that. I am exhausted and I'm so excited for tomorrow. So until then, have a great night and I'm going to get some shot eye. Well, once you get into bed, it's all the same, isn't it? And this is so comfortable, it really is. So all that's left for me to do is uh, switch these lights off and go to sleep. Oh. Good night. One of the loveliest places I've found to hang out, especially when the weather's not amazing, is this, the Observation Lounge, where there's so much bougie, comfy seating, drinks on tap, there's a bar, there's coffee, and amazing views right out the front of the ship. Now, cruising is all about lounging out in the sun or just lounging about, right? If you're looking for great drinks and some time in a hot tub with an awesome view, the Vibe Beach Club is a must. And I'm so excited to spend a little bit of time out here. Without getting any special access, there's lots of really lovely places to hang out on the Viva. And I'm here at Infinity Beach, which has a lovely infinity pool, lots of gorgeous beds to just hang out, have a little sunbathe, and do what I'm about to do, have a dip.
So here I am making my way into Hudson's and it's lunchtime. I'm actually starving right now, but this is one of the included dining options. But here it's a la carte. I'm gonna order from a menu. Uh, the food's meant to be pretty good here, so I'm looking forward to trying this. Thank you very much. So, wow, okay, big menu. Can I order as much as I want? Can I go crazy? Yes. So I've heard so many great things about the food here at the Haven restaurant. Now this is an exclusive restaurant just for those Haven guests. So it's time for me to check out an incredible lunch. So what do you recommend? Ooh. Pretty sure I'm doing this wrong. That's really good. I could get used to this life. Thank you. Do people just like explode here? It is actually dangerous, you know. I'm looking at this being like, why not? I'm, I want to try everything and you can try whatever you want. You can just have it. We're on holiday. Who cares? Mmm, comfort food at its finest. That's delicious. Wow. Thank you so much. This is a very fancy flatbread. I'm used to flatbread at like the harvester and this is definitely better. It's so good. It's like a piece of art. It's, I'm not a big seafood eater, but this is delicious. I've actually never, I've never had scallops, so I'm actually really interested to try this. It's almost chickeny. I don't know if that's rude to say, is it? I don't know. It's really good though. Wow. As if my 17 dishes I've had already wasn't enough, I've now got this delight that I'm going to tuck into. Wow. The favourite part. Tomato, <gasps> carrot cake, and banana banana. Thank you, NCL. Just whoever designed that, thank you. That is a mix of flavours. Definitely this one's my favourite, but this is still scrumptious. One thing you might think about being on a ship for a long period of time is that, will I get a lot of variety? Well, here in the Indulge Food Hall, I get so much choice and everything's included. Unlimited amounts, I can order whatever I want. I'm gonna check out some of the different stalls and then I'm able to just order on an iPad, pick what I want and it gets delivered straight to my table, even from multiple outlets inside here. Okay, I literally ordered my food about a minute ago and already a steaming hot bowl of tomato soup has turned right up. Oh my God, and there's more coming now. Sure, we've got chili, we've got chips, we've got coleslaw. More for, also for me. Oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> so basically, I just decided to order what I wanted, but then they told me the chef really wanted me to try some more stuff. So there seems to be an outrageous amount of food coming because they're trying to fat me up and allow me to try all the different stuff. Oh my God, it's just non-stop. I did not mean for this to happen, but it's happened. And so, what more can I do than just have a little try of every single one of the 1,492,000 dishes that are in front of me? Start with the chili, it's pretty good. Welcome to Le Bistro. This is a specialty restaurant and due to the free at sea offer, I'm able to eat in here using one of the credits. And this was the fanciest place that everybody said was amazing. And because I can get it included, I'm gonna do it. But because it's fancy, I want my fancy mate with me. So, Matt. Oh, there you are. Welcome. Thank you. You're used to these kind of surroundings, aren't you? Well, I mean, you could say such thing. Well, this is my little dip into luxury, so I'm quite excited. And, um, and I think we've got some nice food coming. I'm very excited, and I like you. I've heard some great things, and the setting is stunning in here. Very romantic. Isn't yeah, it? I feel like I should hold your hand. It's a bit Beauty and the Beast. You, want is it? you this, can if you want. Do you sing? Just the touch. Now one fun thing about ships is that if you take the stairs, that means you can eat more food. So we're taking the stairs.
welcome to the Pulse Fitness Center. This place is absolutely gorgeous as a gym. And trust me, you're eating a lot of calories on this ship, so you need a place like this to be able to burn them off. There is a whole plethora of cardio machines and weight machines. And whether you're a beginner or a gym bunny, you're gonna find everything here that you need for a good session. And I think this could be my little spot every morning and catch some of these views of the sea. Shame it's not sunny though. So we have arrived at Mandara Spa and I'm so excited for this. It's been a heavy day of lying in hot tubs, eating delicious food, so I thought I'd better go and pamper myself. So come join me. Now that was incredible. Now this comes of course at an extra expense, but it is absolutely worth it. There's just something about lying at sea, you can feel the motion of the ocean and just getting massaged to pure relaxation. I kind of don't want to leave. And then once your massage is done, you can kick back and relax here in this stunning thermal suite. floating pool. I want to see if this actually works. Well, in fairness to the pool, I had a really big lunch. It was, it was a heavy lunch. So that was the spa, from massages to saunas to hot tubs to relaxation pools. There's literally so much to do. You could spend the entire day here. And I'm signing off right now. That actually doesn't mean I'm done because I'm going back for more, but this was a 10 out of 10. So one of the most exciting things to do, and that's included for anybody sailing on the Viva, is the drop and the rush, but the drop apparently is the scary one and they're making me do that one first. These are slides that go all the way from deck 18 all the way down to deck eight, 10 decks worth of drop. <sighs> Guess I'm gonna have to go do this. What am I doing? Four, Why are they making me three, do this? Two, one. Let's go! Less scary that one. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> All right, so let's go check out the Galaxy Pavilion. Now, this is an interactive gaming virtual reality experience. Now, this is an extra cost, but from what I'm told, it is absolutely worth it. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna start with this. It's called the Starline Surfer. Let's see if, if my reactions are quick enough. Wait, what am I meant to be doing here? Oh, dang! Did I get it? No hands. I just hit an iceberg. I feel like these are words that we shouldn't use on cruise ships. I know you probably don't know this, but I'm actually related to Tiger, Tiger, Tiger Woods. You can probably see it, so I'm gonna show you a thing or two. Oh. Ball not detected. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to the other simulator.
I'm here hanging out at the Metropolitan Bar on the Norwegian Viva and thanks to the Norwegian free at sea package, it means that you get drinks for free. So you don't get the super, super swanky stuff, but you can still have a good little booze. And I think I'm gonna have a drink. You know, I've got to stay within budget, something simple. I kind of wish I could have something really sexy though. And this is the Haven Bar. Now this is an exclusive bar just for Haven Suite members. They're known for their cocktails, so let's put them to the test. This. I mean, not meant. <laughs> Okay, look, I've got a friend downstairs who can't get up here, but he's feeling a little bit down for himself. And can we make him something special? Maybe we should give him a black eye. Ooh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> okay. I should text him and tell him, watch out, I'm gonna give you a, a black eye. Thank you. Ooh. I might have a quick taste before I give it to Nikki. That just opens so many different senses, eh? Yeah. I so say I was giving this to Nikki <laughs> who? I feel bad, Nikki has to try this. All right, come on. Let's go, let's go give some of this to Nikki. Oh, Nikki. Oh, look at him, just sat at the bar, just sipping on his little gin and tonic. Hello, mate. Oh. What are you drinking? What are you doing here? I'm on my basic little gin and tonic, dream, so dreaming of a posh little drink. It, it wow, I bought you a present. Wow, what is this? This is, it's called the black eye. Don't be alarmed. I was a bit worried you were here to give me a black eye, no, actually. No, no, this, this tastes way better than it sounds, I can promise you that. I have a little sip of that. What's in it? Do I not get to know? I have no idea. I feel very special here. I feel very trusted that you're drinking from a complete stranger. <laughs> Imagine, that's actually, that's actually, that's pretty delicious, it's nice, you know? isn't it? Uh, Jasmine, you can have your gin and tonic yeah. back. It's a hint of Febreze and then some WD-40. That is my, that's my favourite. Sounds like a good weekend in Birmingham, that. <laughs> it's almost 7.30, me and our Matt are outside the Viva Theatre and tonight, what show's on? We are watching Beetlejuice, I'm very excited for this. I'm told it's a Tony Award nominated Broadway show in the theatre here. It's 7.29, so we better get inside. Let's do it. Cheers, we've got our drinks as well. Thank Spicy Mark, so. lovely this. Wow. Well, Matt, we made it to Puerto Rico. No. I'm happy to be here because uh, my sea legs didn't quite come in until uh, until the very end. But I've had an incredible experience here. So first up, my room. It was an inside room. It was basic, but it was comfortable. I actually was fine in there, quite cosy, comfy. Would I like to balcony? Sure. But on a budget, it was a good way to travel. The food was what really blew me away from my experience. For an inclusive package, you got so much. The variety and the quality was really amazing. Um, in particular, I thought it was great that I got these dining credits that I could go and eat fancy as well. So that was really cool. And then the activities, there's so much to do on the ship, you're never gonna be bored, even without paying extra. And the real highlight for me was the drop, that terrifying 10 floor slide that I went down. So overall, as a cruise newbie, I'd like to do it fancy next time, but I really love this. What about you? For me, I think the, the cabin was definitely one that made it. I think also having lived on board a ship, I've never seen a cabin as luxurious as this. It was just incredible. And I think the crew overall just throughout the ship were, were immense. The food was fantastic. We got to eat pretty much every meal up at the Haven restaurant. It is an exclusive restaurant, exclusive for a reason. The food is just top notch up there. And then for the activities, um, probably my highlight was the spa. We had the ice room as well as um, all the pools in there, which were incredible. And then of course, the Beetlejuice, the show that we got to see last night. Um, I think we should audition for that. I reckon like, we could I great think we it. could do it. Like, Strike a suit. Little... Let's do it. Well, let's get practicing. It's time for us to go check out Puerto Rico. Hope you've enjoyed this. That's See you next so time. Fun. Let's go.